Hello, cloud enthusiasts. First of all, your support is crucial in bringing more educational videos like this. So please don't forget to subscribe. In this video, we will discuss cloud adoption strategies. Once the organizations are convinced of the cloud platform benefits, the next thing on their mind is a seamless migration strategy from on-prem to the cloud. There are multiple ways to migrate. However, the strategy you choose is influenced by the complexity, urgency, time and effort required to migrate the application. Although there is no substitute for careful planning, it is recommended to start with a less complicated application that will cause the least disruption to the overall product. Monolith applications are usually more complex to migrate because their strategy involves all or nothing approach. Let's explore the 6R cloud adoption strategies. The first one is rehosting. Suppose you have a car and a driver. Your current driver is getting old and files for retirement and you find another experienced driver for your vehicle. The car is the same only the driver changed. Similarly, if you have a legacy application running in an on-prem environment, then the easiest way to migrate it to the cloud is via the re-hosting strategy. In this strategy, you make minimal changes to the application and set up the cloud environment the same way as the on-prem environment, and then move your application. By re-hosting, you cannot take full advantage of what the cloud offers. However, it is the first step towards the transformation. Once you're in the cloud environment, you can slowly start to refactor your application towards a more cloud native solution. The second one is re-platforming. Now imagine you need to hire a new driver and upgrade your brakes and tires to make the car safe for travel. This is similar to re-platforming strategy in which you not only migrate to cloud, but also modify your application to take advantage of cloud native services. One example could be moving from an Oracle database to Amazon Aurora and get rid of all the expensive licensing and management costs. The third is repurchasing. Now imagine you own an old car, which costs you a lot of time, effort, and money to maintain. You can instead rent a car from a service that also provides you with a driver and you pay the company for its services. Similarly, it is also possible that during your migration journey, you realize that a particular application running in an on-prem environment is too old and difficult to maintain, and there are better solutions offered by other companies that you can use. In this situation, you can replace your legacy application with a SaaS-based product and not worry about managing the platform at all. The next one is refactor. Now, what if you own a car that runs well However, you have developed a taste for a sports car, but you can't afford it. You can rent the vehicle and pay for only when you drive it. Refactor is the most involved strategy of all. In this strategy, you re-architect the application to take advantage of cloud native services. Perhaps you want to make your application based on the serverless model so that after migration, you can take advantage of the scalability and zero server management. One thing to keep in mind is that refactoring effort may vary based on the application's needs and the required time and resources. The fifth one is retire. If your car gets too old or breaks down and you don't need it anymore, you can send it to a junkyard. Similarly, during migration, you may also realize that some applications running in an on-prem environment were not being used at all. In that case, 
you do not have to spend time and effort migrating them to the cloud. It would make more sense to retire those applications. And the last one is retain. If your car is running well, you're happy with it, you can decide to keep it for some more time. Similarly, during the evaluation phase, you may realize that migration to the cloud is more effort than you initially anticipated. It could be that either prioritization of migration changed or maybe it's not the right time to migrate. In that case, you can put the project on hold and retain the existing on-prem environment. This concludes our exploration of cloud migration strategies. To summarize, we have learned six R strategies, re-hosting, re-platforming, repurchasing, refactor, retire, and retain. Migrating to the cloud is fairly involved process and requires careful evaluation, planning, and cloud knowledge. We can help you with your digital transformation initiative. Check out our services by visiting creativelogics.com. You can further explore by following the link to documentation in the description. Also, don't forget to comment below and share your migration experiences with us.